If you missed fast food on keto, this is definitely the video for you because today we're gonna to be going over really easy recipes that you can recreate fast food favorites at home. And this video is sponsored by Thrive Market, but more about them later. It used to be you would go to these places for a cheap, quick, and easy meal, but it's not even cheap anymore. No. And you definitely can't eat these things if you're on keto. And Sarah and I have made over 400 videos on this channel, and we have recreated some amazing fast food options, and honestly, they taste way better than their original counterpart. And you're making multiple servings, which you can save and eat later. When I think about fast food, I think about McDonald's. That's actually our last name. And yes, I used to tell people in my class that we owned it. Liar. <laughs> well, because they would say, oh, do you own McDonald's? I'd be like, yes, my family actually does. Well, we actually do have family that owned McDonald's, but there was no relation. Right. Their last name was not McDonald, by the way. <laughs> no. But no one needed to know that. Anyway. When I used to go there, I would always get the snack wrap. Mm. Chicken tender, ranch dressing, cheese, lettuce. It was simple, it was effective. I used to get not one, but a couple. Yeah. Was and they were a dollar, yeah. yes. So of course I would get that. They stopped selling the snack wrap, but people miss it all the time. And so Sarah and I went on a journey to recreate it, and it was very simple. The main star of the snack wrap is the chicken tender. And the best chicken tenders that we have ever made have always been like the same thing. It consists of a dredging station that has pork rind crumbles, almond flour, and egg wash. And we get our almond flour from Thrive Market, who is the sponsor of this video. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone with guaranteed savings on every order. On this order, we saved $24.77. We know that so many of you guys do not live near a grocery store that sells keto items, but Thrive Market does. And Sarah and I love going online or in the app, selecting keto and seeing everything that Thrive Market has to offer. We love getting our staples from Thrive Market like almond flour and sweeteners. And every time we're on Thrive Market's website, we try a couple of new things. In this case, we're trying new Primal Kitchen organic steak sauce and these pitted green olives, which are perfect for snacking. We just had them right before we started filming today. Orders over $49 ship for free with no additional fees or tipping. And once you join, don't forget to check out the deal section on the app or the website for additional savings. There's no better time to try out Thrive Market than right now because this week they are having their biggest sale of the summer and you're gonna save on thousands of top products when using our special link and you're gonna get 30% off of your first order plus a free gift of up to $60. So back to the snack wrap. If you make a simple, really tasty chicken tender, you can make a snack wrap using Hero tortillas or your favorite low carb tortillas. So yeah, the snack wrap was definitely one of those things that my husband asked for still to this day. We were oh. talking about this video actually, and we mentioned the snack wrap and he was like, snack wrap? Yeah. Keto snack wrap? He wants another one. <laughs> but another one that he really loved and we did too, was the Big Mac tacos that we created. And it sounds pretty weird, but it actually has all of the flavors of a Big Mac in a very easy to make taco form. You can use whatever type of low carb tortilla. We like the hero tortillas. Yeah, you smash the ground beef on the taco shell or the low carb tortilla, then you cook it and then you top it with lettuce, cheese, whatever else you want. And then you make the Big Mac sauce, which we also recreated in this video. And I didn't really have high hopes for it because I thought it was kind of weird to put like raw meat on uh, there yeah and it did shrink pretty heavily you have to make center. it bigger right. than what you want it to end up looking like yeah. i should have spread it further but it was greasy it was yummy and it reminded me of a big mac but come on the biggest thing is the fries i think that mcdonald's fries are really weird because if you eat them fresh they are amazing but you can't reheat them you can't save them for later and you can't recreate them at home hmm. but the closest thing we have recreated was actually heavenly fans keto fries mm -hmm. and this is a mixture of almond flour xanthan gum and water i don't know what it is about this recipe but it really does give you a fry that tastes the closest to mcdonald's that we've tried yes and if you cut them thin enough, you fry them really slowly in oil, they are amazing to dip in something. Truff mm -hmm. mayo is a great mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. which we also get from Truff Market. But it's one of those recipes where you're always amazed when you try it, that it tastes like a french fry. Right. So if you're missing McDonald's fries on keto, definitely give Heavenly Fans video a look-see. Yeah. Her recipe is awesome. So we're gonna link Heavenly Fans fry recipe in the description below if you guys wanna check it out, along with any other ones that we discuss in this video. Moving away from McDonald's, although there are other recipes out there to recreate keto chicken nuggets and everything like that, but honestly, they don't taste the same. I used to eat a lot of chicken nuggets in my day. I'm 
a chicken nugget expert. <laughs> I have ordered the 50. Emily I, has ordered I have the ordered, bucket for one. Yeah, oh. not the bucket for one, the bucket for two. Okay. My husband and I demolished that thing. Mm. Anyway, we're gonna go into our next fast food recreation that was really popular. Adaptation. Adaptation. And that is for Chipotle. Mm. And you might think, yeah, it's tacos. No, we recreated a viral Chipotle salad dressing. This salad dressing is like the Chipotle honey vinaigrette that is sold by Chipotle. And by the way, when I would order a burrito, I would demand that my husband get this vinaigrette that I would pour on it. And if he forgot, I would get really upset to the point where there would be tears. And this Chipotle vinaigrette is so delicious and it's keto friendly. It tastes super gourmet. You can keep it in the fridge. We actually used a xylitol based honey like substitute in that video, but Sarah and I have really started to move away from using xylitol sweetener because it is toxic to dogs and we are dog households. And yeah. so xylitol, it is, a good sweetener. I don't know, but for our households, we try to stay away from it. So now we've been replacing that with Chalk Zero Honey Substitute, which is really, really good. And we do have a coupon code for Chalk Zero. Yeah, um, that honey vinaigrette is so delicious and it's easy to make. And in that video, we used it on um, a quesadilla, mm -hmm. but you could use it on whatever you want. Even like a like a steak salad would be really nice. Anything, Anything. Really. It's so good that you could dip literally anything in it and it will taste amazing. And they charge a lot for this. Right, like that's the crazy part. To get this chipotle vinaigrette i've heard that they're charging like a dollar fifty and it's not even a full they don't fill it up all the way no it's a little bit and they're charging like a dollar fifty for it now and it's so easy to make so if you miss chipotle and especially that vinaigrette make this dressing you're gonna put it on everything so now we're moving on from chipotle to more of a chinese takeout menu panda express specifically we have recreated their most popular recipes and made them keto one of our favorites is the orange chicken. That has a lot of sugar in it, normally, mm -hmm. and a lot of carbs. But with a little bit of tweaking, we were able to get really close. And we actually did like this video twice where we did like more of a challenge where we were recreating like takeout and trying to make it faster than we could get it delivered, <laughs> which we got. We did win. We did win by like 20 seconds, <laughs> so it counts. Oh my God, he's like two houses away. Ah! The hack that we figured out was that you could use real good foods, lightly breaded chicken nuggets. Yeah. And then we mixed a very simple like orange like sauce to pour on it and it made it in super fast. You didn't even have to go through the trouble of like dredging it and frying it. Breading it, yeah. Yeah, just using like the real good foods one which is available at like Walmart or it's available at like online. And then we have done the same with the honey walnut shrimp but it was a different process to create that one but it still was pretty easy. The recipe that we used, we kind of whipped egg whites to coat yeah. the shrimp and then we made a creamy, I know that sounds weird, a creamy sweet sauce to toss and then tossed it with pecans. That was really good. Yeah. Wait, honey walnut. It was not pecans, it was walnut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was shocking how good it was. And of course we recreated the chow mein from Panda Express using Amy noodles. Right. I've even used it as spaghetti. Mm -hmm. It comes like in a ramen setup, okay. but I always save like the spice packet if I'm using it as like a regular type of pasta. And then I cook it for longer than it is recommended on the package. Like I cook it for like 13 minutes yeah. or 12 minutes and then put cold water on it after I drain it. And then I fry it in oil and you can add soy sauce and you can add vegetables in it then. It tastes just like chow mein from Panda Express to me. No, it's a good substitute. And some of these recipes are not gonna be 100%. Right. They're gonna be 85% there. And my legs go underneath it. It depends on how long you've been on keto. Right. If you've been on keto for like, Two days, you're no. not you're not gonna feel like there's similar. If you've been at like us for years, you're gonna say this they're really close. good replacements. Yeah. You know what's funny about this next one that we're gonna talk about? I don't eat a Taco Bell. We actually made a video <laughs> about the Taco Bell Cheese It Tostada years ago. And I don't know where we got this idea from because they were trying it out, I uh, think. They, they were, were testing it. it. Okay. Yeah. So they were trialing it probably two years ago when we made this video. Now they're releasing it. Right. Over, so. And so it just came out. So if you're interested in trying the viral cheese tostada from Taco Bell, we've actually made that here on this channel. It was pretty good. And it was really good. It tasted like a giant cheese it with ground beef on top, like a giant nacho. And it was really simple to make. Go, it was harder to get like the consistency right, but it tasted like a cheesy cheese it that was mm -hmm. giant. So, and I guess we're gonna leave you with a sweet treat at the end. Well, we have two sweet treats. We do. Yeah. Where? I forgot to tell you. What? 
The first is apple pie from McDonald's. Mm. I remember when they were two for one dollar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would take a Sunday. I, I remember. What? I take a Sunday and you just kind of like dip the apple really? pie. Really? Yeah. I never did that. Okay, well, you missed out. I used to dip my fries into ice cream though. Yeah, that sweet and mm, that salty. Too. That's weird, right? We recreated the hand pies from McDonald's using a fathead dough, which is a dough that's mixed with like almond flour, mozzarella, egg. Mm-hmm. And then on the inside, apples are definitely not keto friendly. They have a lot of carbs, but we use something called chayote, which is a squash. We cook it in like a soupy, like, syrupy sweet mixture and cinnamon then, sugar right cinnamon sugar and then you would put sugar. um cream of tartar mm -hmm. in it and it makes it tart enough that you think that this is apple i've tricked my husband with this recipe before many people said that they tried it and loved it some people really like to use zucchini as an apple replacement but mm -hmm. i prefer the chayote chayote is less vegetal tasting. right zucchini works but you're gonna taste a little bit more veggie i think walmart has them sometimes you know this is a great tip for fall like when fall comes around and people really miss apples we always like bust out the ch that chipotle <laughs> the ch when people chayote. miss apples we yeah. always try to do like a couple chayote apple replacement recipes i don't the fall. think that many people know about it right so it is good enough that you will be fooled so one of my favorite desserts from a fast food chain was a Wendy's Frosty. And so we have recreated two of those actually on our channel. One was actually using a protein shake in an ice cream maker to make a very simple chocolate Frosty. Right. Tastes just like it without all the carbs. So we also made an elevated version of this, which was actually trialed in Canada. I'm not sure if they're gonna bring it to the States. I don't think so. But it was for a strawberry white chocolate Frosty. That was divine. <laughs> I just literally just gobbled it up. Same sort of thing, we used a protein shake where we actually added some sugar-free jello to the mixture of the protein shake to give it, to give it, <laughs> to give it a really creamy consistency. It was really good. We added some strawberry compote that we made really quickly along with some Chalk Zero white chocolate chips. Divine. I don't think that we'll ever get to see that in this country, I don't no. know why. <laughs> well, maybe just like the Taco Bell cheese, cheese it, it will be like a couple years before they have it here. Right. When we were thinking about this video and like what we actually made like we've made like a lot of videos where we're doing like more fast casual dining or even like restaurants. Mm -hmm. Like we've done Olive Garden, Cheesecake Factory, and others. If you guys would like to see a video where we kind of break down like those types of recipes so that you can see one that you are inspired by that you want to try, let us know in the comment section below. And make sure to join Thrive Market today using our special link thrivemarket.com slash keto twins and you're going to get 30% off of your first order plus a free gift of up to $60. And if you want to see the video where we made that Big Mac taco that was super good, you can click right here and we will see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emma I'm Sarah. And we are the Keto Twins signing out. Now I'm hungry. Be me. <laughs> Make me that. something. Yeah. Here, pick something off this list. <laughs>